Hello everyone, Nick here with Oh My Arthritis at ohmyarthritis.com and today I'm going to show you two simple effective products from 3Point Products, the 3PP Buddy Loop and the 3PP Toe Loop. Before I get into that, uh, I want to get into a couple uh, situations where you might need to wear one of these products. Um, whenever you have a fracture or a jam finger, sprain finger, uh, even a strained finger, Sometimes the best solution is to tape those two, uh, finger, that injured finger to a finger next to it together so that it acts as a support for that. Tape can be sticky, it can be messy, um, sometimes it's just a real pain. So we've got two great solutions, one for your fingers and then one for your toes uh, that I'd like to review with you today. Uh, the first one is going to be the 3PP Buddy Loops. The nice thing about these is they come in three different sizes. So we have a three quarter inch. This one's good for most fingers. We have a half inch, which is good for smaller fingers. And we have a one inch, which is good for large fingers or if you're doing any kind of heavy activities or playing sports. So really what I'm gonna show you is how to put these on and it's so easy, it's quick, um, and it's a reusable product so you can use these until you know they, they wear out. Um, but this is a great product and I'm just gonna show you how simple it is to put on here. So. What you're going to want to do is unstrap the buddy loop, take the loop and put it around the injured finger. You're just going to simply wrap it around the finger next to it and then strap on. Now this material is made of hook receptive material so this will strap anywhere you want to so it will fit many different finger widths and size. You can also wrap it around three different fingers if you'd like, if you need some additional support. So for this example, I'll go ahead and open the loop, stick it around my index finger here, and then I'm gonna come around three fingers. As you can see, it is long enough to fit around three fingers. So if you really need some extra support, you can go ahead and put it around three fingers there. Now with the pinky finger, you may need some extra support and you might not wanna wear two, so you can wear one of them and I'm going to show you a little trick here. You'll put the loop around the pinky. You're actually going to come up a little bit around the, um, the ring finger and then just come across here around the top. As you can see I made a nice little support at the top of the pinky and the bottom of the pinky so that way I've got a really nice support there. The last thing you can do is you can use multiple uh, buddy loops on your fingers in order to get some that maximum support. So in this case, I'm going to put on a one inch on the base of my index finger here and just simply wrap around. And then I'm going to take a half inch and wrap it around the top here. As you can see, this is going to really give me some nice support around the index finger. Now you can use two of the same width, you can use two different widths. Um, it just depends on um, what type of buddy loops you have and um, how many you have. So that's it for the buddy loops. The next thing I'm going to show you are the 3PP toe loops. Um, again, these can be used for jammed toes, they can use, be used for sprained toes, even fractured or broken toes because really there is no type of splinting for a toe, so you really need to, to loop it to another toe in order to get that support. And then the toe loops are also good with flexible hammer toes. These are hammer toes that are in the beginning stages, and this way we can help straighten them out and, and, and hopefully prevent them from hammering anymore. So before we get into showing you how to put it on, there's two different widths for the toe loops. You have a narrow, which is good for some of the smaller toes or if you just have petite feet. Um, the other one is a wide, um, which is good for the great toe, which is also known as your big toe. Um, and these can be for anybody who have longer toes. So I actually have what they call Morton's toe and I'm gonna show you why I need the wide rather than a narrow toe on one of my uh, lower digits on the foot here. So let's go ahead and take a look here. Now Morton's toe is when your great toe is actually smaller than your second digit there. And it's really, it's not that your second digit is longer, it's that, that your great toe just didn't grow as, as long as it needs to be. So as you can see, I have a pretty long second toe here. And so let's pretend that that's one, the, the injured toe, or that's the one that's hammering. Um, what I can do is take this wide toe loop here, put it around the toes, 
And then I'm going to go ahead and secure it with my great toe and just strap on right there. So you can see there's a nice effective support there. And you can see as I was putting it on, it, it was kind of, it might have been a little tough to slide it on, but that's because it's got grip material. And then that way you don't have, it's not going to slide or, or slip on you when you're wearing it. These things are very thin and lightweight, so you can wear them in your shoes, um, under socks, um, and really you're not even going to notice that they're there. And the same goes with the narrow. You know, the narrow would go on the same way. Um, I'm not going to demonstrate that because we've already done it with the wide, but the narrow would be better on my lower digit toes. All right, so now that you know a little bit more about the toe loops and the buddy loops, you can purchase them in a couple different ways. Um, the buddy loops and the toe loops come in packs of three, they come in packs of five, and they come in packs of 25. So um, if you're going to be using them a lot, you know, a package of 25 is great. If you're only using them because you just have an injury and you don't expect it to last long, then maybe a pack of three or a pack of five is best for you. Um, but I do want to leave you with this. Um, feet and toes are some of the, I guess, dirtiest parts of your body. They're, they're used often throughout the day. And really the, the way to keep these splints lasting long is to make sure that they're clean. So what you want to do is make sure that you're washing them at least three to four times a week in hot water. Use soap. Um, you can put it in a washing machine if you like, but you just need to use a, uh, a laundry bag to, to put that in. Um, but you definitely want to let them air dry. So keeping, one, keeping them in rotation with using another one is a, is a good idea. So that way you always have a fresh splint that you can use. But again, the longer you keep them clean, the longer they're going to last for you. So that's it that we have for the, the toe loops and the buddy loops. We hope you found this information helpful. Um, if you want us to tell us about your experience with the 3PP buddy loops or toe loops, definitely leave us a comment below here in the video. Um, or just give the video a like if you found this information helpful. Also, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest for more information on great products um, that can help manage your aches and pains. Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.